Let's go to Parliament now, where the Minority Caucus on the Health Committee is pushing for government to extend the partial lockdown currently in force to three other regions in the country where cases of COVID-19 have been recorded. Ranking member on Health Committee, uh, Kwabna Minta Kando, uh, indicated that extending the lockdown to the other COVID-19 affected regions will help contain the spread of the disease. The president imposed a lockdown on Greater Kumasi, Accra, and Kaswa Tema, effective Monday, March 30. The case count currently is rising. Movement has not been restricted in the Upper West, Northern and Eastern regions, despite recording the cases. We will never back medical doctors or health professionals to be on strike. We are all at risk at this crucial, at this crucial moment. So we can only appeal to them. We can only appeal to them to be at work. But you see, they must survive. They must be alive before they can protect you and I. So whilst you are appealing to them to be at work, government must expedite action on what they need. That's the point we are making. It looks as if government is talking plenty every day. I think they have done well about the talking. But at this point in time, it is not the talking we need. It is about the action. We lock down, restrict movement, because once Movements are not restricted. The spread will move fast. And so in order to be able to contain them, I think that um, restricting the movement of people in these five regions will not be bad. Only restricting the movement of the people in those five regions alone will not help fight the virus. Doctors in Kolebu have expressed their disgust at the unavailability of PPEs for use in emergency centers. There has been one confirmed case at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Who would believe that after the finance minister's statement, it would take even up to three hours for us to have the details of the stimulus package to approve so that Ghanaians will get the relief. It's been five days, five solid days. We do not have the, the details of the stimulus package, how it's going to be administered, who are going to be beneficiaries. And unfortunately, our suspicion is that some expenditures are going on. Meanwhile, the minority has raised questions on the failure of the finance minister to return to the house to provide details on the coronavirus alleviation program five days after informing the house on the $100 million budget. Thank you, Honorable Muntaka. And uh, 